Hi, it's Charles Norman here again from Professor Q Sports Solutions with another Professor Q product review. Now today we're going to review the oversized basketball. All right, for all you uh, basketball purists, before you start rolling your eyes, give me a second here and let me explain how I use it and how it works. This is the best, best tool you can possibly use for kids when you're talking about layups. How many times do kids miss layups in games? all the time. And another thing, uh, my daughter, I actually coached her team, girls miss layups all the time. And it's not that they're not uh, as athletic necessarily or that they're not trying as hard. What happens is they release the ball too early. They're not jumping high enough to get close enough to the rim. Guys, when they do layups, they hold the ball longer and it allows them to get close to the rim before they release. So they're releasing a lot softer than you with the girls and the younger kids. So. This tool will help you when you're working with kids and you're trying to get them to make layups uh, a little bit better. It just forces them to hold the ball a lot longer. Now, so let's move away from the younger kids and even the, the girls basketball when they're younger and, and a little older, about junior high school age. As the kids get older and you're starting to work on back to the basket moves for your post players, anything six feet and in, eight feet and in, the short hook shots, the short turnaround jumpers, this is the tool you want to use. It forces them to get the ball up a little bit higher. It forces them to put touch on the ball. Also, when you are working on uh, floaters in the lane, this is the tool you want to use. This, this uh, ball used to be sold in a lot of uh, sporting goods stores. You don't see them anymore, and I can understand why. Probably the same thought you have, most uh, people that see these in the stores have. Okay, I see it's a bigger ball, but what do we do with it? Uh, traditionally, it's been used as a ball handling uh, drill uh, to help people with their ball handling, and it can be used for that, but that's not where it's most effective. So if you have kids or uh, you have a, a post player, and uh, for girls especially also, you want to use this in your practice and your warm-ups. Another thing we're going to do real quick here is I'm going to show you a couple of things you might want to do when you're doing your warm-ups and when you're working with the team so that they will make more layups. We're going to talk about the mic and drill, which everyone should know about. And then we're also I'm going to give you a couple of tips that I found helps out uh, with kids uh, doing layups in practice. Okay, so we're going to do that in just a moment. 